I got a fragrance, man, or two from the same company that I kind of pushed all the way back as the collection starts to grow. And I wore it this week. I had both the shower gel as well as the lotion. We're going to talk about this one fragrance right after the intro. Back to doing another video. Sam Boom. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Sam Broom back again with another video. I have a fragrance right here that I purchased from Bath and Body Works. It's not a Bath and Body Works product, but it's a Bath and Body Works brand or a brand within the brand. Some might know it. Some of you youngsters might not. It's about a company, CEO Bigelow. And we're going to talk about this fragrance in particular because I had two that I wore throughout the week, these last two weeks, at least three times. But before we say all that, get into this fragrance do me that favor like comment and subscribe share the video hit the thumbs up or the thumbs down button y'all know the routine yada 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 just do your boy that favor I'm kind of relax right now because i really do love this fragrance man and ross did a video which is a great topic it's called from the way back or something like that that he said. Basically what it is is fragrances that just keep getting pushed back as your fragrance collection starts to grow. And when he did that frag that review or that video, this one as well as Bergamot Amber was in the works. And I kind of had that same type of mindset. They say people that get along well think a lot alike. Think a lot alike. And me and him kind of think a lot alike. So this fragrance right here. By Seal Bigelow, which I purchased from Bath and Body Works a few years back. This one is called Citrus and Vetiver. Citrus and Vetiver. Alright. There's a presentation on the box right there. Again, this is a older fragrance. Now, what you will realize is that this fragrance is an EDT. Most fragrances that comes from Bath and Body Works, they are Eau de Cologne, right? The majority of them. Now, that was the past. These days, they're coming in this concentration. I think they really have some good um, fumes that's working with them. But this one in particular, Citrus and Vetiver, I have the shower gel, and this is how I started off. I started off with the shower gel, then I lotion my body. Now listen, here's the deal. I lotion my body twice. I'm a little overboard with it. I lotion my body with Equate, I think that's the name of it, the Walmart brand lotion, which has like petroleum, petroleum gel inside of it. I lotion my body with that first. That's the first layer of, of moisturizer. Then I come over the top lightly with this. All right? And this is just going to give this fragrance a longer lifespan. All right? So let's go back over that one more time. I start off with this. Okay? All right? I start off with the shower gel. Yes, the shower gel. Then I get out the shower. I moisturize my body with Equate Body Lotion, which is a Walmart brand. All right, it's a little oily, but it's perfect when you apply fragrances. Then I go over the top with this particular fragrance. And I do that with all, I mean, this particular lotion. And I do that with all the lotions that I have that accompany the fragrances. And then I hit myself with a couple of sprays. Uh, 
that lasts me throughout the day. Okay, now I'm gonna read off the back of this thing here because it says it has some, it has the, the ingredients on it. All right, so it says fresh modern fragrance for the everyday, for everyday wear. Now, what I wanna say about that, what I do get out of this fragrance is it's great for every single day, especially for work. It's great for that. Any situation except for maybe like a formal event, you can get away with wearing this thing here. Happy hours, anything, you name it, you can do it with this. But it's not a more, it's not a, a dressed up fragrance. It's not one of those fragrances that you would wear in formal situations, like I said. It also says it's clean, fresh, and bright. I get exactly those those uh, fillings with this fragrance here. It's very clean, it's very fresh, it's very bright. Now it says it has Japanese yuzu, sparkling bergamot, all blended with a wild vetiver and a royal cedarwood. And it says it on each and every one of these bottles here. The lotion, the shower gel, Caution. This fragrance right here, look at the tint. It's blue. So be careful spraying this on white or light shirts. Spray it on your skin or underneath on your t-shirt. Do not spray it on your outer level, um, outer layer if you're wearing like a white button up because I'm not sure if this will stain. Haven't stained any of my shirts yet, but I just don't want you to do that. Okay? Now this particular line, you had almond musk. You had bergamot amber, cashmere fig, you had fresh water lavender, you also had lime coriander, you also had mandarin oak, sea salt mimosa, and vanilla birch is what was in this particular line. Those are the fragrances that was in this line here, all nine in the collection along with this, all right? Again, yuzu, bergamot, cedar, iris, okay? It has an iris note in this. I'm not sure where that's coming from because it's not listed on the box, but it has like an iris feel to it. Vetiver, musk, vanilla, and benzoin. Great for work, great for work. It opens up with a nice citrus blast, which lasts throughout the life of the fragrance. It softens up the longest stays on the skin. It do softens up. And then around that two hour mark, somewhere around there, the woods, the vetiver, the dry vetiver starts to rear its head, along with that like iris feel to it. It's present, but it's not loud, but that citrus is nice and bright. I can tell you, sharp too. And a few hours later, it's just, it's, it gets really smooth and light and sweet, and a little sweetness comes to the head. I think that's coming from the vanilla and the benzoin. Overall, a very good offering from the brand, which is perfect for like the office and I, like I said, casual wear. Very good offering. You can still pick these up on eBay. I think the most I've seen them for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks maybe. But you can still pick this up from, from on eBay. Now the one I have other than this is that Bergamot Amber. I'm looking to try that Lime and, and Coriander. That's what I'm looking to try. But again, I wanna thank Ross for like stepping out there first and doing this type of topic. Because I swear to you, I was thinking the same damn thing. Because every time we get something new, we push into these fragrances back. Pushing them back, pushing them back. So I think once a week would be a good thing to do. When we talk about a fragrance that uh, needs to be talked about. I got another one in mind that I wore yesterday. And uh, I believe it's pretty good. Don't get talked about too often. But a couple of friends might be like, what are you doing? What are you wearing? I don't, I don't know what it was. All 
right? But this right here, good. And like I said, if you get this fragrance or any fragrance from Bath and Body Works, do yourself a favor and get the lotion as well as the shower gel to accompany the fragrance. And sometimes they even have the body spray, all right? The deodorant spray. So get all of those. It's gonna make your fragrances last a lot longer. I just wish more fragrance companies do that. You know, they give you the lotion and all that. The option to purchase all that stuff will make sure more fragrance lasts longer. I think they don't do it because they're afraid that um, if they do that, you won't buy as many fragrances later on down the line. I think that's what it is. Man, this is just laid back, bro. This fragrance right here is dope. Citrus, vetiver, and some sweetness. I enjoy doing this from the back of the shelf, bringing it back full. It's your boy Sam Boom signing off. Peace. Back to you in another video.